HCW systems present filling the system with water or glycol and removing air. We're here with Marc-Andre Martel, head technician at HCW. So Marc-Andre, this is the underfloor heating system that we had delivered. We installed it, we ran the pipes, we connected everything. Now it's time to use it. What's the first thing we need to do? Do we fill the system with water? That's right, Guillaume. We need to fill it with water. And at the same time, we'll be able to purge any air from the system. Perfect. Okay, because in addition to filling the system with water, we also need to remove any Great. air bubbles. Okay, but the first step involves filling the injector with liquid. Perfect. Okay, we can see the little maximum line here. We can use either water or a mixture of antifreeze and water. Never put in undiluted antifreeze because right. the pump won't be able to move it through the system. It's too viscous. Okay, once the tank is full, we need to close this valve, the one with the tag. All heating systems will have a little tag labeled close when purging the system. Okay, so like you said, at the same time as we fill the system with liquid, we also remove the air. That's right, that's right. There's no two ways about it. We need to add liquid okay. and remove the air. So we'll close the first valve. Here, there's a small tap with a tag labeled purge the system here. Okay, basically we need to attach a regular laundry hose. Okay, right underneath here. So that's where the air will come out, the air we want to remove. Exactly, from the system. And we need to feed the other end into the injector. Perfect. That way, we won't lose any liquid. At the same time, we'll be able to see if there are any air bubbles left in the system. Great. Okay, and the next step involves removing the little red caps from the supply manifold. Where it says supply, we'll go ahead and unscrew the flow meters, okay? One at a time. So these basically control access to the circuits that run to each of the rooms, to the home's heating circuits. Now we'll go ahead and open the inlets, and here are the returns. Right, but we're going to close all the return valves. Perfect. Okay, we'll keep the blue caps on and wait before installing any actuators. We want to keep the blue caps closed while purging the system. Keep them screwed on, okay? After that, we'll be ready to fill the system. Perfect. Filling the system basically involves filling it with water, and the injector is what pumps the water into the system. That's right. If we look inside, there's a small pump right here. Its job is to build pressure in the system, which will remove air at the same time. Before it left the okay. factory, to reach a pressure between 12 PSI and 15 PSI. If the pressure ever falls too low, we can always adjust it here by turning the screw a little bit. Perfect. Okay, and the panel will come with a little power adapter. Okay, basically, we need to connect it here on the side, and we'll power it by plugging it into an electrical outlet located in the mechanical room. Perfect. So that's how to plug in the injector. How long does it need to run? That will depend on the size of the home. Sometimes you need to run the injector for 30 minutes, an hour, it all depends on the size of the home. Great. But always make sure there is enough liquid. It's not a big problem if we run out, because the floater inside the injector tank will stop the pump. That will give us time to refill the injector, or just unplug it. Great. We're going to plug in the injector to give a little demonstration of how it fills up the system. We're not going to open the purge valve right away. We'll do that as soon as the system is filled up. We can hear the pump that just started up. It's going to fill all the circuits. It's designed to do that quickly. The pump will keep running until it reaches a pressure of between 12 PSI and 15 PSI. At that point, it will shut off automatically. As soon as that happens, we'll unplug it. So normally we'd leave it running until it stopped on its own, based on the pressure set at the factory. That's right. Good. And that will mean the system is filled with water, right up okay. to here. It stopped about there, okay? And the next step will be to remove the air. Okay, to do that, we need to open up the little tap we talked about a bit earlier. Always make sure to feed the other end of the hose into the injector Great. tank. And then we'll come Perfect. and open. We'll unscrew the caps one at a time. Perfect. 
That means we purge one circuit at a time. Once this circuit is done, we'll move on to the next one. That's right. It will take about 15 minutes to remove all the air. We can watch the water coming out of the hose to see if there are any more air bubbles in it. In any case, it will usually take about 15 minutes because the circuits are always about 250 feet long. I see. So the water goes through like this, loops around and comes out of the hose right here. And we can watch it come out. And as soon as all the air has been removed, the system is ready to go. That's right. Good. Let's do a little simulation. Now I've opened the little blue cap. Perfect. I'm going to plug the injector back in, and we'll hear the pump starting up. If you look here, you can see there's a good flow from the hose. All we need to do is wait for the water to circulate for a good 15 minutes. We'll just let it do its job. It'll remove all the tiny air bubbles from inside the system. Great. So now the system, the first circuit, the first loop you might say, has been purged. Perfect. When the 15 minutes are up, we'll screw on the first blue cap, and we'll move on to the next one. Perfect. So we close the first circuit and open the next one. That's right. And we'll do that for each of the circuits. Each circuit will take 15 minutes, okay? Once all the circuits have been purged, we'll need to close this small blue tap, the one we opened earlier. And now we're going to open the valve that we closed at the start. Perfect. The system? Like you're about to say, the system will be ready. That's right, the system will be ready. We'll leave the injector plugged in. It will maintain the system pressure at between 12 PSI and 15 PSI. And we can also check the system pressure on the electric boiler. The blue gauge should show a pressure of between 12 PSI and 15 PSI. Great. So then we'll have filled the system, all the air will have been removed, and it will be ready to use. That's right. Always make sure that there is enough liquid in the tank. It should come up about halfway. Perfect. Also, we'll open the little air vent up here. Okay, it will basically right. help remove tiny air bubbles while the system is in operation. Now we just do a quick check. We'll make sure the flow meters are left open. The red ones. Right. They need to be left open. We open this Great. valve here and close that one. The pump will continue to Perfect. operate. Before turning on the system, we'll make sure the pressure is correct between 12 PSI and 15 PSI. Perfect. And what if we received a different system? It might have more parts or have other options that we ordered. I assume it's no big deal if our system doesn't look exactly like this one. That's right. Basically, we manufacture a variety of systems. Some will have supply manifolds at the top and bottom, but you always have to look for the little Great. tags that say purge the system here and close when purging the system. But the system will always work the same now way. Now we've covered everything. Thank you, Mark Thank andre you. Watch our other videos. Thank you for choosing HCW Systems.